Hey everybody, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. How are you? See this big smile on my face? Cheese. That's because uh, I'm getting a video in before I uh, leave for London for almost a week to hang out with a girlfriend. Girlfriend's week in London. I am so excited. I leave tomorrow, um, so I thought I'd get a video up to hold you guys over until I get back and um, do a quick show and tell today. Uh, two things, the, the bleeping, bleeping uh, Smoky Mountain pour. I ruined the second one. Well, I didn't ruin it, a cicada did. My cat brought in a cicada through the, through the screen door, put it on the ground, it flew away and landed in my painting and just like right through the middle of it. And I was, I don't know, I feel very, very cursed with that painting. So it's a goner, I had to scrape it. Um, and then the video before that, the tree ring pour, um, that one sold to a neighbor like the day after so, and it's gone. Like she bought it. I'm like, I can resin it for you. She said, no, I don't want resin. I just, I'm going to take it home and just spray it with a spray varnish. And I'm like, all right. So it's gone. So I can't even show it to you. And I want to make another one of those. So you're going to see repeats of the tree ring pour with the cells in the middle and a third try at the Smoky Mountain pour. Um, so stuff I, sh I can show you stuff I've done um, offline uh, with students. Um, I had a student here a few days ago and was demoing, I usually demo um, and do a, a painting in front of them on something small to show them how I do it before I turn it over to them. So I had made Mr. Moon here, as I like to call it. It just reminds me of the moon for some reason. So there's like a little round. Um, it's just hanging out for resin, even though these are, these rounds are canvas. They are not wood. I get them at Plaza Art. I think you can buy online from Plaza Art. But if you're looking for rounds, they have a great selection. And they're really, really sturdy. I like them a lot. Much, much, like a million times better than the rounds you get at Hobby Lobby. I'm telling you, for those stateside. Um, and then later after she left, I had leftover paint and I did this guy, which I'm in love just because of the cells um, and the little chains it made. So this is just a little eight by 10 um, ampersand gesso board. So there's that guy, it'll go on Etsy in a couple weeks. And then when Tommy was here, this is leftover from um, my student Tommy after she left. Um, I did this, this is an 11 by 14 ampersand gesso board so that'll be that'll be ready uh in about 10 days for resin but um again this one also has like the chain cells that's like my new favorite thing so there's that guy and then finally you might have seen this one on my instagram page or uh, on facebook this is the one um the student started it um, and then i finished it i helped her pick out the colors and she had done two and she preferred the second one and um, wasn't a fan of this one, personal preference and all, but it's this guy here. And I'm not so sure I'm gonna be able to sell it because I am I I was all giddy. I was like, oh my God, like as we were tilting it. And it was really interesting is we had put white on top of the cup at the very end and there was white at the bottom of the cup so that when we flipped it, she lifted it straight up and it had like this nasty, it was nasty looking, white film all over the paint. And then um, it, uh, I said, don't worry about that, keep moving it. But she just wasn't a fan of like the crispness, I think. Um, she wanted more of a Monet feel. Um, and so she was really happy with her second effort. But that white on top and then the way it sank into the colors when you torched it and brought up the colors really worked out well. Uh, so yeah, that one. Pretty nice. I love it. You know, it's all subjective. Let me get you down on the canvas and talk about what we're going to do today. If I can move my... Drop this down. This is 12 by 24 Windsor Newton canvas that I'm trying out. Um, it is staple back, but it was really nice because it came with its own um, stretcher bars and not the wood, like not the wood shivs. It has 
these guys, they're plastic. Let me peel this back. They're plastic and you take a penny or a dime or whatever and you can tighten the stretcher bars, which is really kind of cool. Can you guys see that? So yeah, I'm trying out the canvas. It's already pre-gessoed. Um, it seems really nice. I gotta say, and I like that it's uh, squared and that the, um, when I'm looking at the sides, it doesn't, doesn't have any bulges. It's really done well, um, tucked in before they stapled it. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it a go. So what I thought I'd do today is, you know, my, uh, my modification of a Jilly Cube pour if you're not familiar with Jilly, it's uh, G-I-L-L-Y-K-U-B-E. She has a YouTube channel. She's from Australia. And she does some amazing pours where she'll do a swipe um, and use a balloon. Or she will make clusters of cells using her torch where she just zaps it like this and gets clusters. And then uses a balloon or just has clusters with background. Um, really amazing work. So please check out Jilly. And I would thought I would do my own spin on what she does. So this is the plan. The plan is to just lift up the cups, not flip and drag them, lift them up, spread it around, see what kind of colors and calm what I get. Um, and then I am going to torch around the sides. I want to leave, my vision is to leave just a few cells in the middle, but leave that kind of blank. And then check out the cluster, see what I like, what I don't like. And I might take my balloon right here to the edges. Uh, I'll decide that as I go and just roll them off a la Jilly. Kind of, I mean, I've done the balloon things and the balloon smashes. If you look at my playlist, you'll find all my balloon pours. Um, I haven't done one in a while, so I really like her work a lot. So I thought I would give it a go and, you know, put my own stamp on it. So, with that said, colors will come up on the screen. Pouring medium is my usual anymore, the 4A12. I keep screwing it up when I write it to pop up on the screen. <laughs> but it is four ounces of water, eight ounces of golden color, pouring medium gloss, and 12 ounces of Elmer's Glue Wall. Almost a one to one ratio. Enough to cover your paint in the cup with a little more. And then I give that a good stir. It should be thick and stiff, kind of like uh, if you were making lemon meringue pie or you needed to whip up something and have it be stiff. And then once it's, I keep adding pour medium until it's no longer stiff, but it's nice and uh, thick and creamy. And then I add my dollop of water. Uh, what else? The only color I want to show you, but that's not straight out of the tube, is this color, um, a violet right here. And that's because I had Senlier number 918. This is their medium violet. I felt it was too pale and light. And then I also had some golden ultramarine violet that I felt was too dark. So I did about an ounce of each to get to this shade. So that's, uh, just call it medium violet, pretty much, um, for this. Consistency. I was trying for a slightly thinner today. I have a total of six colors because if I use the balloon, I want to have a variety of colors pop up. Uh, pretty free flowing today and a little bit of a trace. So I, actually, I don't think it's thin. I think that's more of my usual that I like and that it takes a full second for it to disappear back into the paint. Yep. And I'm spilling it on myself. All right. Um, because I do want clusters of cells, I do have, and these are all pretty full cups, uh, four drops of my gross container of spot on treadmill silicone. So let me add that to the, the vermilion right there. And I'm just gonna layer three cups and flip them over and stretch them out and see what happens. And not a true sandwich pour because I'm, I'm not going to do a big layer of white. Um, but we'll start off with the white at the bottom and at the top. And see what happens. And I had 
with my order. So let me go with So I've been to London, I, well I used to live in England, so I've been to London more times than I can count. And so is my girlfriend, she used to live in London. Um, so we don't really have to do like a lot of touristy things. We're just gonna bebop around for a couple days and then maybe do a day trip. And we were trying to decide where to go for a day trip. And I think we're gonna go to Rye, R-Y-E and uh, check it out. You know, neither of us have been. I used to live just outside of Oxford. So we've done the Cotswolds and Stonehenge numerous times. In fact, every time uh, someone would come to visit us in England, my husband would always be like, oh, we've got to go see Stonehenge. And after the third time, <laughs> I was just like, my husband just thought it was the coolest thing ever. He just, he was just completely fascinated by these rocks. And after a while, I was like, yeah, it's a stack of rocks. There's a pile of rocks. Like, how many times can we see this? And he would get all mad. He's like, the history, the mystery, the history and the mystery. And I was just like, oh, okay, whatever. So I'm like, okay, you know what, why don't you take, you know, if it was a couple, like, why don't you take Bob and I'll take Nancy and, and we'll go, we'll go into Oxford and shop around or something. And that's, that's what started happening because it was, I was just, don't get me wrong. It's cool. And I have some like amazing pictures because you should go at sunset and at sunrise and it's cool to go on a gray day because it's all moody and, you know, but after a while. I'm sure, I'm sure it's like that if you live near a touristy place everywhere. Because I'm, Lord knows, you know, I live close to Washington, close enough to Washington, D.C. that, you know, I drive by the, you know, the Washington Monument and barely give it a second glance. Because I'm like, yeah, I've seen it like a million times. Um, or, you know, if you live in Paris and you're by the Eiffel Tower, you're like, yeah, there it is. You know, kind of get jaded. But I'm very excited. To go. My wanderlust is in full gear. So. And my husband wants to do. Um, I, he's a cyclist. So he wants to do some bike race next spring. Like in Northern California. I'm like, if you let me go to, not let me, but you know, we had a talk. It's like, if you let me go to London with my girlfriend, like, I won't blink an eye if you go to, like, Sonoma without me. And he's like, deal. I'm like, all right. You know, because I've been to his bike races. And, like, if you ever watch the Tour, Tour de France on TV, they always make it look kind of exciting because there's people on the, you know, on the sides like clapping and cheering and they got their signs. But it's a lot of standing around and just waiting, you know, for the riders to go by. And it's all of like, you know, five minutes. And then they're gone. And you're like, no. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they are. Oh, there they go. And they're like, oh, it's over. So... I was just, you know, I don't think I could see another one while my daughter's home. Let me tell her I'm filming. Hi, Hi Chloe. Um, I'm filming right now, okay? Are you not mad at me? For what? Leaving basketball? No. No, but we'll talk about it later, okay? You can go in the playground. I'm gonna. I'm filming right now, okay, love? Okay. Um, but first, go put your bike away. I'm hungry. Okay, go put your bike away. I'm hungry. Okay, I'm filming, Chloe. All right. Uh, all right, so that's one whole layer. Let me add. Some more orange, because I like the orange and yellow. And I'm trying to do a whole bunch of little layers instead of big ones, just in case I do use that balloon when you uh, smush it. 
you get a you know a nice a nice bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the yellow. I'm not used to using. I'm used to Naples yellow. This is a uh, primary yellow. It's so bright to me. All right. Let me see, a little purple, and we'll put some white on top, and I think that'll be it. So I have all my art hung in the um, this fancy real estate office. Like, it was fancy, too. So fancy that um, they actually had a professional, like, hanging system on the wall. Uh, for art which is kind of nice so all you had to do was show up with your fishing wire and just attach it to your system but I spent all day yesterday hanging all my art and deciding what goes next to what and uh, you know trying to put some thought into the presentation of it all and they hold um, real estate closings there so I'm hoping a bunch of people at least get to see it all right, I've decided on, you gotta put the purple and orange together because it's a rule. And maybe a little bit light purple. See, I wasn't done. I lied. Light purple and then the white, I promise. I keep dripping this one cup. I'll give him extra purple. All right, and some a bunch of white. So we had that thin layer of white on the bottom. That's gonna now be on top, so we'll see what happens with that. But we'll put a thick layer of the white on top here. I made two cups. I'm give that a stir. Pop one down right here. Pretty good plops. All right, I'll give those a second. So this week uh, is uh, a one year anniversary of me having to go back to New York City to my empty apartment without my family, with my flooded apartment and ripped up floors. Um, well, while my husband and daughter were back here so my daughter could go to a school. And I asked my husband, did I tell you guys this story? I feel like I did, but I'm gonna tell you it again anyway. Is uh, I asked my husband if he wanted to go up to New York City for like Columbus Day weekend or something. And he's like, I'm not ready. It still hurts too much. And I'm like, ugh, we just can't. I'll talk about that another time because it'll make me sad. All right, we ready? I'm just going to lift up. And try not to splooge too much in the middle. Yeah, like that stuff. See, like that thin, that layer of white? That's what we're, I was talking about. Like, what is that? It looks kind of gross. And we know there's color under there. So that's a nice puddle, though. Straight up bloom. Boom. See all the colors under there? Buried. 
and straight up with this one. Ah, that's all right. Looks like it's gonna be close enough to an edge for me to roll off if I have to. All right. You know what? Never cut your bangs, people. Don't cut bangs. Bangs are for little kids. And, you know, I cut my bangs, and it was all cute, and everyone's like, oh, you look so young, blah, blah, blah. And now they're growing out, and they're just a giant pain. Just a giant pain. Just, that was totally random, I know. But they are just a giant pain right now, hanging in my eyes. All right, let me uh, scooch this around. I'm not gonna worry about all that white. Just gonna move it all around a little bit. Come down to this one corner a little bit. Bring it back up, go the other way to the other corner. I don't feel like I have to go all the way. I feel like there's plenty of paint. So let me give this, this is gonna be one that's kinda, you know what, I'm gonna tilt a little more. Can you guys, you can't see it all. I'm gonna tilt a little more, I've just decided right now. I am, I'm gonna come here, get closer to that one corner and come off a little bit. Cause I can see the paint floating on top okay. I'm not gonna worry about it, and I'm gonna come off here a little bit too. Then I'll just worry about my corners in a second. So this one is definitely, hopefully, the art of torching, which is equally important as the tilting. And let me see. So definitely wanna bring up some colors. So let me pop bubbles first. I want some cells in the middle. Now I might have to pour some off because I want the clusters to be, you know, on the sides. And see how close I'm getting? It's just all white, which means I have to, uh, I have to tilt some more. It's just like nothing's coming up, except for you know giant caterpillars because, you know, they have to be wherever I am. All right, let's tilt this some more. Definitely needs more tilting. Maybe I put too much white. Well, no, see, that would have been at the bottom. So I'm kind of surprised by how much white is here because on the bottom of the cup, there really wasn't that much. But let's see what happens. I feel like I need to put my stand up a little bit higher because when I go to tilt, I'm not going to be able to see. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so this end looks fairly easy, so let's go here. What am I sticking to? Something down here. Off you go. Take some of that cluster and bring everything back. And then go off of that end, stretch everything out. And then come off this other end, off you go. All right, so now we're getting some colors. Oh, see, now it's getting some colors. Now I'm happy. I'm like, where did, the, where did all the color go? And then come down to this end. Oh, I don't like that spot. Off you go. And then bring everything up. And I don't like this one corner. Well, let me stop because now I need, now's where I need to decide if I'm gonna balloon smash it or leave it, you know? I didn't wanna just do it if I had a nice, nice little painting. Um, I like, do I have the whole thing in frame? Oh my gosh, I gotta take off my gloves before I splooge on it. I really like 
everything here except for that corner. The rest of this is like phenomenal. I don't know if I would even torch it because it's so pretty just the way it is. But it kind of ruins my idea because my idea now would be to do this along the sides. But, um, man, I like it just the way it is, right? Like, I like this. I like all the open area. The cells are phenomenal. Um, gosh, what do I do? I know what I am going to do is the second I turn the camera off, this thing's going, going under a tarp because I'm so sick of, like, having paintings get ruined either by me or by bugs. I think I'm gonna try and tilt off a little bit of this corner. I don't really wanna ruin the composition because I love it just the way it is. Um, and I can live with it, but if I don't have to live with it, then I'm not gonna. So I'm gonna try to get rid of that. Um, and yeah, wow. Wow, it's pretty. All right, let me try that. And I might have to uh, try for the uh, the jelly technique another day because you know when it, if it comes out of your cup like this, man, you you go with it, right? And I love I love this with the um, the orange going into the purple, and it's really really great to see the Van Dyke brown make an appearance because that color is uh, light and translucent and um, can be swallowed up by stronger colors, super easy. So let me try to go a little bit to this one corner. And I gotta say, if it looks like it's gonna mess up anything else, then I'm gonna stop, seriously. And I poured off, I'm looking at my tarp, I poured off a significant amount of paint. So I don't know how much I have left to um, tilt on that uh, corner, because if the cells start to stretch instead of float, then, let me see. Uh, I might be able to just do it like that, come back. See if I can bring everything back and over and not ruin it. Ah, uh, see, I'm getting a wonky line that I'm gonna have to take over and then bring it back. didn't hurt the top too much. It helped spread out those cells. Let me stare. It's better. The bottom's better. This started to go like this, and I wanted to go a little more like this. Like I want to turn the steering wheel. The bottom is great and the top's great. It's just like this little piece here Yeah. That's gonna play really slowly. You know what I might do? Is I might just leave it the rest of this is so great. That sounds so conceited. You know what I mean though. The rest of it is looking so nice um, that I'm gonna torch right here. And I think even if I just get some baby cells right there, it'll take your eye away from that, that curve. You know? What do you think? Somebody say something. What do you think, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's the plan. And then I'm gonna say, say done, because I'm in love with this painting. Like really, really happy with this. I'm gonna go right there. And just see, I almost want like a piece of cardboard, so like I wanna put my hand, which would be a really terrible idea, you know, to like block the flame. And I keep meaning to buy one of those mini torches 
so I could do like detail work right there. I'm just gonna try right there. Don't give me a damn caterpillar. Actually, a caterpillar would help because see how it goes straight across? I'm just gonna let those grow a second and then tilt it so they get a little bigger, but I think that'll fix that little area. That's being like so ultra picky, isn't it? Like so ultra picky. Some of my cells got stretched out here, but it actually, I love it. They look like stepping stones and they're like, um, they're translucent in color. They're like cool. Those have grown a little bit. Let me throw on another glove. And I'm just gonna go tilt it back and forth and leave it. Leave this thing alone. I'm gonna come back a little bit this way. Drag them all out. Yep. Everybody come back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yay! Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I totally love it. Let me go. No, I don't wanna go up. Do I wanna go down? No. Just over this way is the best thing. go back now and leave it Ta -da! that is cool let me get you guys down you got to see it I'm like super super happy I got my clusters kind of like how Jilly does it um, in my blank spot so I'm probably gonna tinker with this again I'll save my balloon for when I get back you know and then do it on the sides. That'll be the plan for next time. That worked out so perfect though. I'm really, really happy. Let me pop you guys down. So this is the top here. So let me give you just an overview like that. And then coming down to the top, there's the blank area, which is nice. Um, it's like tan and purple mixed. It's very moody, I love it. And then look at these here. They're just amazing, amazing. Loving, loving those cells. Um, and like, see, I don't know if you can tell, like those, like how they're translucent and have colors underneath of them, they're just really cool. Um, the middle section here, the changing colors really cool and then here's just like the little baby area I did just to help the composition right there and then down here so then you got your blank spot with just one lone cell there's I don't know if you can see the translucentness is that a word translucentness <laughs> of those cells there and then down here this is like the little stepping stone area so there's that corner and then these cells here with just enough of a blank spot there to help. But yeah, so that's a double ta-da. Yep, yep. All right, that makes me, where am I? That makes me feel less cranky over, um, stupid bangs, man, over losing the second uh, Smoky Mountain pour. Son of a bee, that's what I said a lot, son of a bee. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm out of here tomorrow, um, back on Tuesday, so I'll see you guys in about six, seven days from now. Um, have a great week. Take care. Thanks for all the love and support. Go check out Jilly, even though I didn't do what she does today, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.